equal opportunities, smart education, digital skills, network, security services, access devices package, all schools, for children. Let me change the world for a better future. La reforma de telecomunicaciones, promulgada por el presidente Enrique Peña Nieto y el Congreso de México, facilita el despliegue de infraestructura de telecomunicaciones en el país. Uno de sus componentes es poner a disposición de los operadores de telecomunicaciones inmuebles del gobierno federal, a través de un sistema 100% en línea y con precios más baratos que los del mercado. Así, más personas tendrán acceso a más servicios de calidad y bajos precios para lograr un México más conectado. Gobierno de la República. La Unión Internacional de Telecomunicaciones, un órgano adscrito a la ONU, cada año entrega un muy importante premio. ¿Para qué? Para reconocer las mejores políticas públicas en materia TIC. Colombia ha sido reiterativamente galardonado por diferentes grandes apuestas que hemos hecho. Pero hoy, precisamente hoy, están premiando al proyecto de ciudadanía digital, un programa que logró certificar a más de 450 mil colombianos que se formaron en TIC, en temas como alfabetización digital, etiqueta digital o comunicación digital, entre muchos otros. What is the China image in your mind? Have you ever seen the poverty side of China? Chinese government is committed to help 30 million poor people to get rid of poverty. The governmental agencies together with social elites devotion to alleviate the poverty. China Mobile works on network coverage even in remote mountains, many could link up to the world. Where there is a will, there is a way. China Mobile TPAS, build information and knowledge societies. Make a concerted effort to eliminate poverty.
The government of the custodian of the two holy mosques is keen to support in the protectorate, the technical fields, and making it a strategic objective in its vision 2030 to cope with the information age. The Ministry of Education in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has endeavored to consolidate this vision by operationalizing the rule of technology in its services, which is more than 200 services provided to its employees. If more than 700,000 employees working in 46 branches and 40,000 schools, saving time and effort for the beneficiaries so as to access to the service with easiness. Muktopat, a unique Bangla e-learning platform for skills and professional development for the underserved, low literate and offline learners of the grid of the net anytime any place any device by reducing time cost and visits muktapat increases skilled manpower and contributes to sdg goal 4 and 8 muktapat is a future ready skills platform targeting fourth industrial revolution are you with us Postmaster General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and CEO of NIPOST, Barista Bisi Adigui, brought about complete turnaround of the Nigerian Postal Service, leveraging on digital technology, which includes NIPOST Address Verification System. NIPOST created certified proof of addresses while creating at least 250,000 e jobs for any Nigerian with a smartphone anywhere in Nigeria. With this, in two years, 500,000 more e jobs will be created. Disaster Emergency System is an innovative open platform underlying network complexity of heterogeneous connected mobile devices and sensors. DES provides adaptive services as autonomous applications for automatic evacuation guiding based on Internet of Things and multi-agent system technology before, during and after the disaster. DES leads users toward an automatic way of interacting with the physical environment for surrounding map and locations of safety places with low cost, quick response scalability and flexibility. So the e-voucher is just a simple and a cost-effective means of electronically distributing and tracking uh, uh, the delivery of agriculture inputs. Through funding from uh, UFAD, the government of Kenya and the European Union, Equity Bank was able to set up and operationalize the e-voucher system where farmers were able to access e-voucher packet inputs. The e-voucher beneficiaries accessed input through agro-dealers who had been used, who had been issued with POS or the point of sales materials by the banks. Eligible farmers were able to, um, were required to open a bank account with the Equity Bank Limited and deposit about 10% of their contribution to the e-voucher package. The cards were segmented into three different wallets, it seeds, fertilizers, hamet and tapulins. Based on the validation evaluation of the e-package, eligible farmers and grow dealers were informed of the date of the cropping season and the sequence of distribution of the inputs that each farmer needed so as to collect the inputs from the agro dealers at the county levels. Yeah. Certified crop seeds and basal fertilizers 
are the first e-wallet to be activated where the farmer is able to access predetermined quantities with their respective debit cards and later in the season farmers can be able to access the second e-wallet comprom comprising of the fertilizers and even the post harvest items such as the hermetic bags so pretty much that's all about the um, the e-voucher system ID Bolivia has experience in reducing the digital gap nationwide, providing IT training and implementing computer labs. ID builds on existing knowledge. The ICT1 initiative integrates gender-sensitive curricula in formal education. We exchange knowledge and best practice in policies and tools. We encourage women's participation in technical training. We contribute to awareness about human trafficking. Girls and technology go together. Indonesia Back.id is a spirit to make Indonesia better that contains information of government programs presented through infographics and motion graphics in creative, interesting, accurate, and trusting manners. We urge millennial generation to make positive contents to fight hoax, a big problem in Indonesia. Let's create positive content. Bravo, Indonesia Baik! Современный мир невозможно представить без цифровых технологий. Мы предоставляем услуги миллионам россиян. Мы инвестируем в развитие общества. Мы спросили себя, как можно улучшить качество жизни, и мы нашли решение. Мы разработали интегрированную социальную программу федерального масштаба «Цифровую».